Welcome to Decades of Horror 1970s. The blood of these whores is killing me. This is episode 158 recorded. <laughs> no, it's February. <laughs> it is February 7th. Uh, this is That's what happens when you don't update the... Let's keep going. Ladies, <laughs> where's it? Lock it up. Gruesome Magazine. <laughs> I am your embarrassed toast, Doc Rotten, and this podcast is about horror films released between 1970 and 1979. Each episode, my co-host Jeff Moore and I will tackle another classic or not-so-classic film from this wondrous, groovy, gory, and influential decade. Tonight, we are doing Blood of Dracula from 1974. Andy Warhol's Dracula is another name for it. I'm excited. I might be the only one. But let me introduce the rest of the crew, (laughs) starting off with the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, how are you doing? This film, this <laughs> film <laughs> disturbed me to the almost to the point of insanity. Mm. There, now I, I am insane. It, it, this film will do that very much. Also joining us tonight is the one and only Bill Mulligan, writer, director, special mm-hmm. effects guru, and all around nice guy. How you doing, sir? I'm doing better. This movie made me sick. That and COVID. That so COVID. I, I, I think COVID yeah, might, so have been might have been more the COVID, but uh, I fought a battle with it and uh, COVID won handily, easily, without <laughs> breaking a sweat. But I'm feeling much better now. I may have the occasional cough or, you know, suddenly suddenly do a Foster Brooks thing where I suddenly get stuck on a word and completely change my tone and everything. And I'm not drunk. Just, 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 not this go, time. Yeah, yeah. Just don't go Reagan on us and that will be fine. All right. Also nope. joining us. Is Chad Hunt, comic book artist and co-host of every decade of horror that we have, including this one. How you doing, Chad, sir? The blood of these whores is also confusing me as to the date. Oh my god! Well, you know, <sighs> don't be don't be uh, embarrassed, Doc. It's happened to the best of us. We 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 yeah. call that a train wreck, and that's what we're going to do here. All right, guys, when, that's, uh, what, that's what we do here. Yeah, I just when Whitney's not on classic era, I introduce Chad and say he's a professional makeup artist. Do you? And I went. I went yeah. with it. He just went with it. And <laughs> wow. off he goes. Yes, he just he's multi-talented. Thing, you know? Well, one thing yeah. Chad has done, I'm going to uh, promote another uh, show we do. He joined us for Heroes and Droids recently. He became part of the crew and been covering hmm. uh, both uh, the Book of Boba Fett and Peacemaker. Yeah, yeah. Ah. If you're into yeah, if you're right. into that, I don't know why you're here. But if you're into that, uh, check us out over there. You could. It's be. a buttload of fun. But yep. loads, lots, lots of loads, lots of but. No, yep. that wasn't right. Anyway, yep. let's get back to the show. <laughs> Blood of Dracula from 1974. Now you should be embarrassed. I, man, I <laughs> just, I just walked the earth embarrassed. Uh, let's do this. An ailing. Well, you know what? I think I have a card. Should we just go jump into the card? Let's jump sure. into the card. Yeah. That's not the card we like. We have two cards. That's one card. We'll jump That's into it. Cards. There you go. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> uh, if we could hit the reset button and not doing this live, we would. Written and directed by Paul Morrissey. The cast includes uh, Udu Kier, Arno Jernigan, uh, Joe DeLosandro, Melena Vukte, Vukute, Vuk, uh, mm-hmm. Vukotic, Vuk, help me, Dominique Dare, <laughs> Stefani Cassini, Sylvia Dionisio, the why do I do this to myself? Vittorio De La Sica and Maxime <laughs> McKendry. Sure. And that's the whole fam damly. Yep. Fan damly. Yeah, I like that. Uh, November 6th, 1974 is when it was released in the States. Also known as Andy Warhol's Dracula. I think that's what most people go by today. Um, uh, somebody, um, Jeff, say the other name. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it in Italian, but when okay. it's translated, it's... Dracula is searching for virgin's blood, and he died of thirst. Now, is da-dun, it vir- da-dun, da-dun, virgin or virgin? Virgin. Vir- virgin. Virgin. I didn't. I mispronunciation. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's okay because they said it both ways. In here. Mm. They did. It said, yeah. Uh, synopsis: is an ailing vampire, an ailing, not an alien, but an ailing vampire count travels to Italy with a servant to find a bride, a, a virgin bride at that, right? So, <laughs> You know, one. Yeah. Jeff, what is going on with me, sir? Um, I, you know, I might, movie. I'm it, it is this movie. I might just have to hand it over to you. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to 
share our first experience and then we're going to talk about the film and then wrap things up with our thoughts and recommendations this is going to be an interesting one uh we recently yeah. did uh flesh for frankenstein the other andy warhol movie from the 70s and uh that was a blast i enjoyed the hell out of it um I, you know i can't remember if you guys liked it or not but let's let's move on i want to start with jeff um because i'm really curious you know you and i you know, we kind of went together and said, okay, these are now available on Shutter. I want to do Flesh for Frank's Sign. You said, well, I'll do Dracula. So you're going first. Let us know what your first impression of Blood of Dracula and when you saw it. Was it back in the 70s or was it 70 minutes ago? I just saw it. Uh, and <laughs> we've had to reschedule this this episode a couple times. And, and uh, the first time I watched it, I inundated our chat with... Uh, gifs or gifs uh, of boredom i was boredom. <laughs> just oh my god i was watching it and i'm like i gotta stay awake i gotta stay awake uh it was <laughs> you know really inane um i don't know if i can even call them love scenes naked bodies on a bed together mm. uh interspersed with uh with udo kier and his uh, manservant Anton. Anton. Anyway, I just so I watched it again last night, and I actually, you know, I went into it going, "Okay, let's pretend this is a really <laughs> funny movie." So I'm going to assume that the stupid dialogue is intentionally stupid and is meant to be funny, and it it was a little better. I could at least watch the whole thing and and pay it pay attention. Um, Anyway, uh, jeez, oh, um, <laughs> there's some of the lines. I mean, what he has one line where he goes, "What good is it to have tea when I can't have the right vegetable to go with it?" I know. What is that? Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, so I, one of the things that I felt like it was trying to be a comedy, but it's not really funny. Uh, it's only funny when it seems really, really bad. And I don't even know if those were the intentionally funny parts. Uh, it's kind of like they're going for highbrow spoof mm -hmm. of sex and violence. And they came out with a lowbrow spoof of sex and violence without much spoof. It was just, <laughs> just low brow. Bad know. sex, bad violence. Um, so, I mean, you got this family, there's, there's uh, two promiscuous daughters. Everyone thinks are virgins. <laughs> and they have an older virgin daughter everyone thinks is not a virgin and one 14 year old daughter that mario rapes to save her from dracula from being a virgin. Uh, what a noble what a noble guy yeah not all heroes so, uh, wear capes huh i i just or condoms it's, it's a weird it's a virgin shell game yeah <laughs> udo cares convulsive seizures over oh my god over oh. his i don't know there's a combination of sometimes when he needs blood and sometimes when he drinks the wrong blood. I don't know. And and the, the two things that this really reminded me of that I just can't get over, that it actually pre precursed them. They were it came before was number one was Udo Kerr's Dracula looked everything like a character from uh, SNL Sprockets kit. I just kept. <laughs> I just kept <laughs> waiting for him to say, now is the time on Sprockets Venvy dance. Um, <laughs> That's hilarious. The oh, uh, the God. other one is the Black Knight skit for Money. Oh, Pink. yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. what the heck? It's, oh, totally. And it was what, a year, maybe two years? I mm -hmm. don't know if the, how, the, how the filming coincided, but. Uh, oh, what a, uh, I got to so, think they saw it because. Yeah. What a beautiful and, thing that was. <laughs> So anyway, I'll I'll just stop. It's it's <laughs> it's running. It's not a very good movie. The one good thing about it is the guy that played the monster Sasha in the first one was originally going to play Dracula, but they decided oh. on Udo Kier first. Oh wow, so, that would have been a huge mistake. <laughs> what least, did though? Least, what did? It, yeah, I mean Udo, Udo was, was entertaining. Not, yeah, would have been fascinating. All right, I'm I'm going to shake things up and go next. Um, I, I, you know, much like Flesh for Frankenstein, uh, <laughs> Blood for Dracula, I hadn't seen and I'd always wanted to. It's been some of those films that I was waiting for the, you know, the right virgin to uh, watch. Um, and uh, yeah. it finally happened this year. So I am, I'm happy to have 
watch both of these. And yeah, much like the other one, seeing the stills, uh, you know, in, in various monster magazines and books, I was like, oh, this is this sounds like it's going to be awesome. It's not. <laughs> but I did finally see it. And um, I, I, OK, I kind of li love this film because it is so stupid and so dumb. But it, it has that great ending. <laughs> with, with, with here, no arms running away like this it's so funny it's, it's and then the legs oh my god it's a the movie is it is it's it's the dialogue is atrocious the hero is the worst hero ever in film that i'm aware of and it there was a hero there is a hero there is a hero <laughs> who saves the young 14 year old but, the 14 year old uh, okay. uh but he is he and and chops slays slays the monster but at the same time i kind of liked this 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 really strange version of dracula that you know basically you know is is drawn from transylvania to italy by his his manservant um his familiar to for you know because I can't find any versions in Transylvania. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't, for some stupid reason, um, I I loved and hated this movie all at the same time. And um, I'm just going to leave it with that. So Bill Mulligan, sir, hmm. what was, <clears throat> when did you first see this? Just um, a couple weeks ago. It's, it's one I've always wanted to see because I had seen um, Flesh for Frankenstein in the theater in 3D. They never showed it with this one because this wasn't in 3D. So I was very curious to see it and finally did. And I have mixed feelings. Um, yeah, Joe D'Alessandro, the worst hero imaginable. He's um, he's awful. He's absolutely awful. He has no redeeming social value. But he's the closest thing we have to a hero. But there's really, there's only one person to root for in the entire movie, and that's the poor 14-year-old girl the object of his affections um and the older daughter who i guess i was I'm, I'm supposed to believe is too old to be a suitable wife for dracula and like maybe they should have cast someone who actually looked too old for the part because that made no sense everyone is awful everyone is awful every single person so live die who cares all that said <clears throat> i love this version of dracula this is like one of my favorite portrayals of a vampire because he is absolutely pathetic. <laughs> this is this is what I think of vampires. You know, he the opening scene, and I'll tell you, the opening twenty minutes, I thought I was going to love this movie because it's just it's sad. He's old, he's diseased, he's he's virtually powerless. He's he's putting on makeup to try to make himself look as young. You know, he's the, this thing that has lived way beyond what he should. They have a complete role reversal with his assistant. Um, what's the name of the character again? Anton. Anton. Anton, who bosses him around, and Dracula just takes it like a bitch. Because Anton is, is way... <laughs> Anton is there to change his diapers and bring him blood, and you, you just think, this guy would be dust by now if it weren't for Anton. And Anton has no time for his foolishness. It's He is the anti christopher lee everything everything that christopher lee is as a vampire udo is the opposite and i love it i think it's i think it's a really good portrayal it's not enough sus to sustain <coughs> the whole movie and then you know we meet these other characters none of whom i really care about so good beginning and a funny ending you know where we're just we're just like throwing stuff against the wall and phony phony uh, arm chopping off that is oh the, it, the greatest phony yes the greatest and yet and yet Dracula still even when his arms are cut off and there's literally nothing he could do he's still hissing at this guy like he's gonna do something and you know he's he's basically just a stump sitting on the ground waiting to be staked and he's still still talking smack this is what I love about vampires. And 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 so they take that out, but really, you could cut this movie down to a good half an hour, and um, <laughs> you would get all the enjoyment you need out of it. You know, I I don't know what if I think it was meant to be a comedy, but no, it's it's a the humor is just not quite 
good enough. I, I don't know what they were trying to say. Was was the Marxist handyman supposed to? Are we supposed to feel sympathy for him? If if I had any affection for uh, Marxism, this would pretty much dry it right up. It's it's just weird. It's like an art film with weirdness in it and and vampires. So I, I don't know. It's neither fish nor fowl. It's a strange, strange movie, but it doesn't have the over the top goofiness that Flesh for Frankenstein did. Yeah, it doesn't and reach that, that eye, does it? Yeah. No, no. I, I could watch. I could go and watch Frankenstein again right now. It's going to be a while before I have any itch to see uh, Blood for Dracula again. I think. No itching there. All right, Chad yeah. Hunter. When did you I, see this, and what was your impression of it? I, on the other hand, <laughs> <laughs> found no redeeming quality of this movie whatsoever. Good for you. Good for Yay. you. Yeah. not even not even as a comedy uh not even uh, this is the worst dracula movie i've ever seen wow and, I, and, I, and, and i'm usually very careful about what i say when i don't like something because i don't i know there are fans who don't want to hear that and i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but as far as i'm concerned this is the worst portrayal of dracula i have ever seen in my it's not it's not really dracula i mean it's it's uh dracula doesn't sit around and go you know, maybe I'll have the romaine lettuce with some lemon since I can't find any wedges. <laughs> but <laughs> come on, man. Come on. I just, oh, I had a hard time. I had a hard time getting through this. The, the dialogue was just so, but oh, it was so bad. And uh, and Joe D'Alessandro, what, what, what? Does does he somebody owe him money or something? I mean, how does he? <laughs> how does he? Get how does he? he how does he get cast in this movie? I mean, it's just. Uh, hey, uh, how's your sister doing? The fourteen year old? Yeah, I'd like to rape the hell out of her when I get a chance, you know. And I'm just sitting there with my mouth open, going, yeah. "Bada boom, bada bing." Yeah, over here, and uh, oh my god, it just it didn't feel like a Dracula film. It, just, it did feel like a vampire film, but it didn't feel like a okay. Dracula film. I mean, Dracula is this warrior, that. you know, warrior guy that has slain armies and 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 this kind of thing. Well, that's and, his story. Well, uh, that's, <laughs> how, that's how I know Dracula. So, uh, but this is and I and I as much as I found flesh for Frankenstein, I could see the the campiness and the, and the comedy mm -hmm. value of, of, of flesh for Frankenstein. This one was just, it just seemed like an excuse to get to the next nude scene. So we can, we, so we could see Joe D'Alessandro's ass <laughs> yeah. doing all kinds of weird stuff that normal people don't do. Uh, hopefully. And uh, like unsimulated sex. Uh, yeah. It was just, it was just, it was just, yeah. it was strange and terrible and, no, I, I could, terrible. Yeah, I couldn't even like it for the reason Doc liked it because it was so stupid. <laughs> but but it, I just no, this one this one was not for me, guys. This was this one was not oh, for me. Man. You know, it, Chad, you make a great point because even though this is called Dracula, there's an interesting credit that gives Bram Stoker credit for character. That's the only thing. It's yeah, that's the about it. The name of Dracula. Yeah. There's no Jonathan Harker. There's no Renfield. There's mm -hmm. no Van Helsing. There's no Mina. There's no Lucy. It's just Dracula and his his uh, over controlling manservant. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. yeah, and and a lot of people doing what I think is, uh, you know, they're just winging it. They're not. They're they I don't think there was a finished script for this because that, if there is, there's times when I think there's. People in um, when they go to that that uh, before they meet the the when they get to Italy and before they meet the people they're in there and there's people talking and they don't they look like they're reading cards reading yeah they're, they they're, do. they're actually they active because you know, they keep looking over to the right and saying it looking over to the right and saying and I'm like oh my god this is this is delightfully terrible this is like mm -hmm. <laughs> now on sprockets we read the cue cards I know <laughs> and, uh, but. I don't know. I was. What can I get you? I'll have to talk to the management. I was having a great time, but I wasn't liking the movie. I mm. was just having a good time with 
yelling at I, I think it was more of you were in wonderment of how this I piece might have of been. crap got made. It might have been. But, I mean, uh, am, I, am I wrong? Do you think, you know, were they, was there a script or were they just saying, I mean, it, they it, write literally, the, it literally felt like they threw people into a scene yeah. and said, okay, say something. They were improvising, right? Say, I mean, yeah, well, say if that, something. Yeah. If that's the case, these guys are not exactly Second City. They are not masters of improv because... No. Uh, well, isn't that what they did? What they were trying to do with uh, Flash for Frankenstein too? That yeah. they were trying to do yeah. it, you know, more yeah. live in the can. So. If they did, they succeeded there. Yeah. More yeah. Than, yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems like maybe they had a little more preparation. <laughs> yeah, well, but you know, <laughs> you know, if if I remember right, they uh, that's what Morrissey wanted to do, uh, but Udo Kerr wasn't <laughs> wasn't down with the total improvisation thing. So yeah, they, good for him. Scribble scribble some things together. Mm -hmm. at the beginning of each day <laughs> yeah, i think that's exactly what happened that's why they were reading it off cards they scribbled it oh. yeah good good for Uta. listen this improv thing sounds great but you have to ask yourself are you robin williams and if the answer as it usually is is no don't no do don't do that don't 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 improv no uh but speaking of uduk here he lost 20 pounds in one week to do this role mm. which is which shows he shows. looks very very frail but on the first day he was so weak he couldn't stand which he spends perfect mo most of the acting. script in the in, yeah in a wheelchair, <laughs> yeah, wheelchair yeah. yeah probably the wheelchair scenes yeah. except for when he's running without no arms which is the funniest thing <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Screaming. That's when it got good. I was like, "Oh, this is getting good." And then at uh, the end, then it was over. <laughs> yeah, the other the other funny bit is when when he realizes that uh, she's not a virgin. And he turns green, and they do that by shining they do a light. Green light, 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 light. That was yeah. the funniest thing. I love that. I knew it was dumb. Wow. I mean, that was like something Elmer Fudd does after he drinks something Bugs Bunny gave him. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then he well, goes through five minutes of ralphing in the tub. Yeah, yeah. But well, he, the, the 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 scene where he's licking the blood off the floor too, I thought was great. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Cassandra walks yeah. in, and he kind of like. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Like and, and, and what kind of blood is it? Yeah, for some reason that Weird made me sick. <laughs> Weird gin blood. And again, oh, I like that he's pathetic. He's a path he's vampires are parasites, and and I guess if this movie wants to, you know, want to make some social relevant thing, you know, it makes sense if you're going to talk about the aristocracy and the proletariat and everything else. Vampires are great because they are parasites. They they feed on us. They they exploit us and everything. It's just that it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to really take it seriously. I don't know if you need a revolution when this is the quality of what you need to revolt against. The aristocracy in this film looks like a good stiff breeze is going <laughs> to knock them over. <laughs> Wasn't what? the father great? Oh, uh, he's oh a my gosh, Dracula. Three syllables. I like the way that sounds. He looked like right. he was improving and doing a good job of it. Actually. Yeah, he looked, yeah, he was actually having a good time. With it. But, okay, so at the core, I'm going to throw this out here. At the core, this movie had a fairly decent base of a plot to do it. It's basically Dracula's in search for a bride, arrives at this this, era, this aristocrat who is running out of money and he has four daughters, and Dracula just goes from daughter to daughter to daughter to find the right one. All right, that's, yeah. that's a that's yeah. a plot. That's, that's a, a plot. plot. <laughs> and somehow along the line, you know, we get uh, <laughs> just goes off the rails and goes wrong. And like you know, these two sisters are lovey mm -hmm. dovey on Joe, and Joe's a he's a he's a, he is the yeah. hugest prick on the planet. Well, oh my you, god! You realize you realize how important a good a good Van Helsing is to a good Dracula movie, and we don't get Van Helsing. We get no. this yeah. tomato yeah. can. Yeah, we get Mario. Tomato can. <laughs> we get Mario. Mario. No, <laughs> Mario would at least be a little bit Italian. This guy. Mm. Oh, oh. It's uh, embarrassing. He, he was trying so hard and failing so miserably. Yeah. To be some kind of a heroic figure, and uh, I mean, was he? I mean, was yeah, was that? Were yeah. they trying to make us like this guy? Because boy, complete fail on on my part. Um, I I, I, I felt like you're asking the wrong dude. I had I mean, no idea yeah. what was going. He literally. Oh gosh, I mean, it just there is one point in this movie. Well, there's two points, right? You know, that one line of dialogue is just like, okay, cut that, <laughs> please. Oh, yeah, and then the Didn't actual age act. well. And then they, no, it did not. And then the actual act, but 
Mm. He, in his, from his point of view, he's doing it to save her because Dracula can't have her if he does it. But I didn't I, buy that. I didn't no, buy no. it either. <laughs> I didn't buy I that am either. dubious of this claim. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, but that's you know, that's it was just a it was a it was a convenient uh, yeah. a convenient I, moment. That's all I, it was. I think he would said, you know, I was going to do it anyway. But yeah. Um, yeah. And then but what's worse is that she like is on his arm for the rest of the movie. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not too well, long. Were they, is this some kind of, I mean, were they trying to tell us some kind of message from that time or is this, well, again, you, you what, can what see the hell is in the people's head. You know, the, it could have been a commentary, like how women are being treated as property. And, and that, that could be a valid thing to go, but these women are so awful. You don't really yeah. care that they're being treated as property. And, and well, not the 14 year old. No, but she's she's completely passive in all this. She has no agency no matter what. And you, you get the feeling, okay, so she escaped Dracula's clutches, although he never was really interested. Now she's, you know, the happy ending is now she's with the ra the child rapist. Okay, good. Mm. Who wrote that scene? Uh, Roman Polanski while he was hanging around in the bar? It's like, oh, I got a oh, great that, idea oh, for you. Thank you for saying that. Yes, we have a cameo no. from the one and only... Oh boy. Oh, yes. Um, you know, that's an unfortunate <laughs> tie there from a lot yeah. of dialogue Ooh. to a person. I, I missed it. I was too busy fast forwarding. Uh, the guy yeah. in the bar that <laughs> was uh, playing the game. Yeah. Yeah. They had the hat. That was him. Oh, that was him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I was like, what the hell is he doing? Bill Cosby was also at the bar mixing some drinks. Uh, yeah, oh, mixing drinks. You <laughs> son of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> son of a gun. Oh, man. But then the oldest one. I mean, okay. So, you know, we did get the Vampire's Bride eventually, right? Mm -hmm. And that didn't amount to much, but we got it. Well, but when. <laughs> I mean, when they gave her her shot, she went for it. In that she last did. scene. I mean, yeah. oh, my God. Just out of nowhere, I, she's like, I thought she like barely met him, and but she's like, yeah, no. like it's her uh, century long love. Yeah. He mm -hmm. belongs to me as she's fondling his stumps. Um, <laughs> God, maybe they grow back over time. I don't know. I may have that. lost interest at this point. What happened to the two other sisters? Did they get staked? Or I, the last I saw, they were turned into vampires. And then I don't know what happened to them. I don't remember seeing any uh, resolution to those two. They just laid around on the bed, languishing. Like yeah. languidly laying. Yeah, I think once he was thing. done, their, his control over them was was done as, as far as far as what Joe Delisandro was saying. Ah, yeah. that was, didn't you see the sequel? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so at no. the end of the movie, Joe's in charge of the villa. I mean, he basically got did got control of uh, the place. I don't know. Dad's off doing whatever he's doing. He just disappeared yeah. from the script. Like bye. The check he cleared really, so long. So he had his little revolution that he wanted. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, he gave his blessing because he had he had three syllable names that, that yes. uh, rolled it, off. It, the it, 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 that was his prerequisite, and he matched it. Yeah. So. Did I you mean, guys? Did you? What was the line the father said or something about? I looked into something and I couldn't find anyone with the last three. Uh, Letters of Ula in their last names or something. <laughs> Ula. Uh, do you guys remember that part? Yeah. Doesn't know yeah. Scott Bakula then. Yeah. Uh, let's look at posters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the one, okay, so this is the actual shot that I remember from yep. uh, you know, Famous Monsters and, and some of the other magazines, you know, just and it was like it it it, it presents an entirely different yeah. film, right? Yeah. Um like that guy admire, he, he's got good abs yeah uh, but he's pretty he, ripped but starve yourself doesn't... lose 20 pounds in a week and you too can look emaciated and yeah. but he looks dangerous right he looks threatening in a weird yeah, yeah he does you know parasitic sort of way right yeah. then you got and then this, this piece of yeah. crap what, this what also this? represents yeah. a different kind of movie <laughs> what is this bill <laughs> um so this is dracula mincing around with um, a steak and a carrot and a screw stuck into him, and and it it just reminds me of like sometimes they would let Frazetta make a poster and you get a cartoony but brilliant. This is a really cool poster, but I don't know what movie it's for. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what you're supposed to expect when you go see this, but it's not what you got. 
<laughs> Andy Warhol's vegetarian Dracula. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Now look at this one. Oh, oh um, god. And that does not look like Udo Kier no. at all. And this looks really, like no. one of the bikini movies from the 60s. Uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. should be a Benny Hill movie. Yeah. Dr. Is, Goldfarb. Is she on a bicycle? <laughs> She's on the bicycle at the top. Yeah, sure. And then they're in like, I don't know what cheer they are on. Nurses uniforms or Nurses, something? I don't know, whatever it is, but uh, it's crazy. He's but got a Young, big head. But, yeah, but this was, you know, based on, this This is the re-release after Young Frankenstein. So they were trying to capitalize on it. Uh, and and uh, apparently the X-rated version was trimmed down to be an R-rated film for this. I didn't really find this movie to be very X-rated. I mean, I saw more of Delisandro's ass than I wanted to, which is any I'm, amount at all. But I, it didn't seem very X-rated. Uh, yeah, it's, it's well. Yeah, I think they cut I, like thirteen minutes, right? Didn't they? Like really, hundred six to ninety three or something. Jeez, like that. they certainly could. Um, but the version that work. we see on TV now—that's the full length version, right? Yeah, the long shot. Yep. Yeah. No, it, by today's standards, it isn't. But Soft R. Know, in the early seventies, they were trying. They were struggling to figure out what yeah. that is, and, and X didn't mean what X came to mean. <laughs> Triple X, right? So uh, then this. Which is a little a nice more. Well, you know what movie this one's piece. going for. Yeah. 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 And then this one with, with <laughs> Jeff's, okay. Jeff's favorite title. Um, I, you know, the cape looks cool. <laughs> and Joe gets top billing? What the hell? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, he does. Look at that. I think there's yeah, a deal in there. I mean, he, get, he and Udo are, on, are the number one and two on all of these. Maybe, maybe <laughs> he's got the money. Maybe he's the money, right? I don't know. There's Udo Kier. Who is. I, I there was. He's quite like, striking he, in this role. He, he's intense. He is. He is. There, there was one tagline on one of these posters that got me. It was, young Dracula has so much trouble with the opposite sex that he's carrying around his own stake looking for a guy with a hammer. That sounds... I, I saw that on a... Very different. <laughs> that poster. sounds like a totally different movie. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm sorry, Doc. Yeah. No, he that, that, but he, I mean... Yes, Chad. He, you know, he's not the warrior Dracula, but I don't know. He fit, to me. He 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 fits the role physically. It's just well, the, the... well, yeah. I feel like I feel like it's <clears throat> just not Dracula. If they would, if yeah. it would have been like a another right. a different vampire or something like that. Well, you you know, know, in the original in the original novel, when when Harker first gets there uh, to meet Dracula, Dracula's aged and yeah, he's old, infirm, and, old. and and not really in all that great shape and everything. And as he gets to England and gets some new blood, it, it reinvigorates him. And and so they that, that's kind of consistent with this story. It's just that he never gets that blood. The the blood he does get just keeps making him sicker and sicker and sicker. So, yeah. and, well, and, and I'm not. I was gonna say they introduce a sister right at the beginning. Yes. Yeah. And they just leave her to die. They put her in yeah. a box. Yeah. Put her a coffin. Yeah. Right, I guess. And I thought um, they were gonna bring her back at some point. Is well, I was wondering, her? right? I guess she's yeah. for the sequel. So is that is that really the way? Like we see him at the beginning with white hair, and he's I guess he's dyeing his hair. But do you actually mm -hmm. dye your hair with a paintbrush with black stuff on it? This dude, dude back does. in the day, yeah. <laughs> back then, uh, okay, yeah, put yeah. tar on it. Look like it was, he was, yeah. he was yeah. not invigorated by virgin blood, he no, just no. painted his hair black. Yeah, and kind of, uh, like here's your hero. Here's your, yeah, uh, <laughs> the idea that this guy reads Marx or reads period is is kind of laughable. Reads Marx, <laughs> I know, right? Well, the interesting <laughs> thing is, is that he's got a look, he's got a yeah, like a, he looks like he has a potential presence, but it just doesn't. Then when he talks, it just blows. It, it just goes. Away. Yeah, yeah, that that takes it. Coffin. Yeah. <laughs> I read books, just not yeah. novels. Well, maybe not that bad, but it, it is. All right, uh, and of course we get uh, Anton here, who. Um, I so yeah. different from his role in Flesh for Frankenstein, man. Little he, Jeffrey Combs ish. I wish yeah, he'd done a lot more stuff because mm -hmm. there, there's something to his yeah. just absurd way of approaching. Mm -hmm. He was the most interesting character in, in the movie both for me. films in both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, other new Duke. And he disappeared for a long period of time. Yeah, there. yeah. And he comes back and I'm gonna say stabs that the mother. Picture, 
that, that bottom picture shows, you know, like early on, they really the cinematography was good. It's it's a low budget film, but they they packed the area full of cool set design and everything. It looked pretty. I thought it looked pretty good. You know, almost hammer esque and everything. Mm-hmm. And you know, once once they get into Italy, everything everything, everything takes a downward turn. But I just I really thought the opening of this movie showed a lot of promise. And I, I, I did too. I, I really thought it did, especially with the sister and his mm-hmm. family. They're all down there. And I thought maybe somehow that would tie in later or have something, but no, it didn't have anything to do with it. As soon as they get in that car, it becomes monster go home. And it's, yeah. Oh my God. That, it's the most, yeah. Yeah, what are we going to do with my, my bed? Well, we'll just put it on the roof. And it's a coughing yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> and they have to keep explaining. Yeah. You know, well, just they, tell them it's your uncle. <laughs> yeah, that's a good explanation. And, they, and like the guy picks it up, he's like, "This is so light. There's nobody yeah. in here." And he's telling everybody, uh, "Cough, it's very light. It's very light. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on here. This feels like there's nothing in the coffin." <laughs> Why do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, uh, who's that comedian? He sounds like I, I've already forgotten. Dice. Dice. Andrew, Andrew Dice, Dice play. play. Yeah. Uh, oh, does he? Andrew Dice Clay's do this. this, world, this <laughs> Andrew Dice plays Dracula. Yeah, yeah. No, don't give anyone ideas. Oh my God! And here's some more. Just there's the green shot. The there's best the green. The and there's another shot that I remember seeing in the books with him just laying next to the toilet. <laughs> right. <laughs> At least they had plumbing. Mm-hmm. Um, so fun stuff. Oh, they were the aristocracy. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> what can you say? And, and they shot it over what three weeks so you know it's they they stuck to a, a yeah. budget they stuck to a, a plan they did it and and they somebody yeah. edited this piece of crap together it looks like a three-week movie there's <laughs> no until until you get to the ending there's not exactly a, a, a big action sequence and even that is just silly as any. it needed it needs something in there don't oh i mean God. there's 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 well yeah. i mean they were they were like well we don't need the blood we just need you know this weird it was hilarious how he just <laughs> kept positioning himself to have his limbs chopped off <laughs> <laughs> You know, with his arm on the on the rail. Oh, that was brilliant, version. though. And his arm and then was he like flashes it out yeah. to spray it back. Yeah, oh. yeah, that whole stair set, stairwell. And it looks awesome. just so much like a mannequin's arm. Like, yeah. who cares? No, it's great. <laughs> no effect. No effort is is done to make it what a real stump would look like. You're like, okay, just hellish, hellish sharp axe. That ex, that axe oh, yeah. would have barely chopped through the wood he was trying to cut in the backyard. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to believe it made just a laser clean cut. Um, I, he's moment. an old vampire. It's like probably like chopping up a mummy. Probably doesn't take a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're going. You're going for the a long shot on that one too. <laughs> yeah. <Shut yeah>. <laughs> Science. Put some, put Science. Some dust coming out instead of blood. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! That would have been poof. <laughs> like a little red poof. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I feel like if we just kept talking about this, we'd be pooping on it. Um, I guess we should say that yeah. Polanski. Um, a lot of people thought he was shooting what nearby, but apparently he wasn't. So I don't know what all that's all about. But he was in Italy. What movie was he shooting? What? Yes. What, what movie? What? What? Uh, what? What's the first? What's the movie? <laughs> yeah. Uh, third base um that's not how it goes anyway uh let's this wrap this up before i am yeah. further um uh, where do i go where do i go jeff sir your your, your recommendation now you picked it Mr. well my final there, comment oh, is, is um <laughs> yeah I, I hope i don't offend anybody when i say this but it reminds me of what the Norwegian Lutheran farmer said when his wife got pregnant. Thank God I don't have to do that again. Wow. Ooh. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm a, sure you I'm offended a, somebody. I'm a Norwegian Lutheran, so I'm sorry. If you want to walk out, I, that was a long reach. It was a joke I heard a long time ago. It just seemed appropriate, but that's what I'm like. I'm, you know, I'm glad I watched it. I'm glad, I, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> I'll be sure to tip your waitress on the way out. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there is there a particular scene that you were amazed by? Oh, I right off the bat, his uh, convulsions. 
Yes, what he, I mean, he's like, uh, you know, Anton just says, "Oh, suck it up. I'm going to go <laughs> look for some women," and he's like, <laughs> rolling back and forth and gurgling blood and everything else and, and shake it. It's just incredibly. Yes, it, exactly. It's, awesome. yeah. <laughs> it's incredibly something. Oh, my God. Chad, sir, give it, give us a spiel if you would. Please. Nope. <laughs> Nope, <laughs> nope. I give this one a pass. I'm not. This, this one's. I will. I, I can guarantee you. I will never watch this movie again. But I did laugh when we when he said that our uh, our quote at the beginning. These these horse blood is killing me. I did laugh at that. It's so, funny. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's not for me. It's it's. And I'm and Bill and I almost share the same view on vampires. They're vermin. Mm -hmm. They're just disgusting creatures who are able to <laughs> act human and act, uh, you know, a certain way. But when act in actuality, they're just disgusting, vile, disease-ridden vermin. And uh, and I see that even in Christopher Lee's Dracula. You know, right. he's. He 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 reverts to that animalistic side a lot in, in those in those movies, but in, in this one I just saw a sad little pathetic yeah. wee wee vampire that wee -wee. that eats lemon juice on his romaine lettuce. That's all. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I I can't I can't I can't really recommend it. Do you yes. have a scene that you would uh, like to point out? Oh the oh, the the uh, decapitate or not the decapitation scene, but the Arms and legs getting chopped no. off was just dismemberment. Dismember it yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. That was just hilarious. What you gonna so. do? Bleed on me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's exactly. All right. Wound. So yeah, I got right. three uh, three nopes out of three from Chad. Um, three nopes yeah, I don't. Of... I can't recommend this. Um, you have to be in a real certain frame of mind and to to like to get any enjoyment out of it. Um, but yes, it, it, it does give me one of my favorite vampires. I mean, I see Christopher Lee as almost like a tiger that has gotten loose in the village and you got to put it down, but there's something cool about a tiger. You don't want it around, but it's a cool thing. Whereas this guy and like Nosferatu, they're just plague rats, mm -hmm. plague rats just need to be stuffed in a bag and drowned. Um, mm -hmm. but it's a, Udo Kerr is a great, is a fun actor. And while he's on the screen, I can watch him doing his stuff and just enjoying that accent and everything else but there's too much movie around him um that you got to get or through too much lack of a movie around him. Uh, yeah 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 <laughs> um i think my, my favorite sequence would just be the beginning where he's oh, nice. staring staring yeah. into the mirror i don't know why because <laughs> they do establish that he doesn't cast a reflection but just trying to trying to look young again and and you know i i make fun of vampires just to get jerry chandler upset but I really love vampires as a monster because there's so mm -hmm. much you can do with them. And that the idea of immortality, something that humans have sought forever, what an actual curse it would be. And how and, fragile it is, even when you have uh, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> this movie, this movie, and one that doesn't get enough credit, uh, uh, Death Becomes Her. I mean, really, it does. They, these a few movies have shown just what it would be like to actually be immortal. And it, it's not a gift. It's, it's a horrible curse. So that just that opening sequence where this sad creature doomed to squeak out his living long after the thrill of living is gone. Um, just trying to hold back time with some. Yeah, there is. Yeah. <laughs> Jack and Diane. But so that's my favorite bit. But no, I mean, I don't recommend this to most people. But, you know, if you thought that Andy Warhol holds Frankenstein was the funniest thing you've ever seen. And, you know, you already watched Caligula last week. Yeah, sure. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll maybe you'll enjoy it. That, that's the audience. That is exactly that's the audience, audience right there. Um, yeah. So I I I was entertained by this movie. I will give it that, but not for the reasons it wanted to. <laughs> uh, it's it's not a good movie. Uh, but Udo Kier, I don't know, is such a great presence in both these mm -hmm. films. I'm mm -hmm. really really impressed with him. Um, it just he just doesn't have a movie to support his character here, like you said, uh, and that's unfortunate. Uh, there are, you know, moments, especially with Anton that are interesting when Anton is like, you know, 
<laughs> just basically telling him it like it is, right? And, yeah. And he, he just this Dracula ends up being kind of a, like a, a whiny wuss, doesn't he? And, but yeah. I don't know. I don't Pretty know. Much. I it, it. What's interesting in the seventies is that okay, Dracula was big on the stage, right? And this is about the time that was starting to happen. Of course, we got a variety, and Dracula also became public domain, right? So mm -hmm. we got a variety of you know different yeah, types of yeah, draculas yeah. you know and different types of vampires that were dracula like uh you know we've covered many of them here anywhere from you know count yorga to blackula to um there's there's a young there actually isn't there like a an actual young dracula movie with david niven right yeah that, yeah, that's, yeah yeah oh my god yes and i think even ringo stars in one i don't know i mean maybe that's a different one but there's all kinds of them yeah and they're i mean uh, Dracula versus Frankenstein bill mm -hmm. is probably yeah Chad you haven't seen Dracula versus Frankenstein have you no no I'm familiar with okay. it but I've not I've not that's, seen, well, that's seen it. Have you will you will amend your decision on what the worst Dracula <laughs> ever yes, you <laughs> that. Um, equally entertaining though equally entertaining yeah. but you know the decade ended with you know what uh we got a Nosferatu remake and then the Dracula based on the play more so than mm -hmm. anything else both are which we've covered, and both of them are wonderful. But we also had, <laughs> we also had the the comedy Dracula one. Um, wow, God, it's the name is escaping me. But dead uh, and loving it. No, Love that first was bite? Like, Love Love first bite. Yes, okay. with, with, who was that? George Harrison. No, not George Harrison. George Hamilton. George, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, George Harrison. That's, that's and Ringo Starr. Yeah, it was they were yes. getting the band back together. Uh, you know, my brain, it's not on <laughs> tight. Um, but so I guess my point is, is that. If you want to experience a different type of Dracula from the 70s and, and explore what the 70s was trying to do for better or for worse, this film's for you. Just it's it's you're you're not going to like it. <laughs> but, it's, but you, what, might, you gotta like everything? But, uh. but you you might enjoy exploring the ideas and and, and being offended by it. But I I don't know. I'm reaching. I, it's just the way Doc said it. You're not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but my favorite scene is, is yes, the dismemberment. Um, I'll just go specifically with the one on the stairwell because the hand actually stays connected to the, st to the railing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, this enormous amount of blood is just like spraying all over the walls. And it's like, about damn time we get some bloodshed in here. Because uh, mm -hmm. the only other time we see blood is when he barfs it all up. Yeah. Um, or licks the other blood off the floor, which is gnarly. But anyway, um, yeah, there you go. Blood <laughs> for Dracula, which is a good title given, you know, that yeah. he's actually. Yeah, uh, that's what he needs. But, but what went wrong? Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing went wrong. Mm. All right. Uh, check it out. It's on Shutter. Let us know. He should have gone to a comic book convention. He could have had all the virgin blood he wanted. Oh, tell me no. I'm wrong. No, no, no wait. I mean, their whole point was they were going to Italy, a Roman Catholic country, which would yeah. surely have plenty of sure, surely a classic blunder there. Yeah. yeah so apparently, you don't understand what happens there. Logic. But I mean, um, uh, anyway, look, please leave us some comments down below, and uh, of course, hit the like, the share, and and uh, the subscribe buttons. Uh, we have some feedback, right, Jeff? We do. We do. Would you like to begin? I will. I will. Uh, <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna start with this. Uh, there's one that's a, a little long, but uh, and then some series of shorter ones. And it's, I really love this. This is on uh, episode 157. This is 158, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 157, Flesh for Frankenstein. Uh, Damien Aceteo. Damien. Happy New and he yes. does this every year. He always tells us Happy New Year. To the group crew. I hope everyone yeah, is you, safe Damien. and healthy. Mm -hmm. Same to you, Damien. I listened to the review of Flesh for Frankenstein and was so thrilled this was chosen. Yeah. I remember seeing this on a late night double feature on the USA Network back in the late 80s or so. Of course, the other feature was Blood for Dracula, which I will be excited to hear the crew's review next. We're Being on cable TV, <laughs> what was shown at the time was shocking and for my young eyes, tormenting. It wasn't until I was much older realizing I had not seen everything until I found the DVD was an even bigger shock, but more humorous. 
The somber acting, some over-the-top acting, and yes, the infamous cross-eyed orgasmic look we come to expect from Udo Kier makes this a must-see for any fan of 70s horror. I'm certain that the review for Blood for Dracula will continue on the comments of over-the-top acting, bloody props, and of course, the cross-eyed orgasms. But this time, <laughs> a little more hairy bushes for Doc. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he knows you so well. They're, they're everywhere. I, you did mention that, did you? Uh, last last look, episode, I tried to. I look forward to the review and many more to come. <laughs> As always, continued success and much love to the group crew, group crew, Damien. And I'm not sure if we should read this uh, PS, should we? Uh, let's leave that for us. Well, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's just for us. But thank and you, now, Damien. Thank you, Damien. I think maybe Chad should read these about Gurley. You know what, Mumsy Jeff, Nanny, Sonny and Gurley. You used to be my good friend. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, it's all about love with Ravi. Says uh, they're going to check it out. Even even with my vehement uh, non recommendation of this movie, yep. you're still going to go watch it. Okay, uh, Merritt Neath. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. thank you. Thank you. Merritt, Merritt Neath, I hope I'm saying that right. Is there a horror subgenre specifically about dysfunctional families, pseudo families? Yeah, they're, they're called my home family home <laughs> movie. <Aww. laughs> uh, <laughs> you mentioned Rob Zombie. The Firefly movies would fall into the category, but also the film The Baby, the baby from 1973. Oh, my, oh my, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the translation of the German title is more like murder a la maison, like a dish. It's a common phrase, more like, like more in the style of. Thanks. Yeah, Mary. that's something we talked about that uh, Bill and Doc didn't have the privilege to take part in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be glad, <laughs> folks. Yeah. The, Be glad. the German title was like uh, murder in the style of the family or something was the way it was translated. Anyway. You guys dodged a big nine millimeter bullet. On that oh bullet. my yeah. god! Yikes! What's next there, sir? Oh well, we have one of for uh, episode one fifty five, Baron Blood from Ricardo Angel. Ang Angel? I don't know. Angel. One of my Angel. One of my favorite movies ever. The elements of sorcery in it are awesome. The witch that invokes the overall decorum. Top cult movie for me. Yes. Yeah. Very much. Excellent. Baba time. And we have a couple on Frenzy. One from Andy Morton across the pond. Loved listening to this. Your discussion laid bare the divisive nature of the film. A real 50-50 thing, both for Hitch fans and for 70s urban horror fans. And you say Leicester and Bernard just as I'd hoped. Lovely. Oh, nice. I guess we're doing it wrong. Oh well. It's actually Leicester, I think, and Bernard. He Andy keeps us honest on pronunciation. Yeah, yeah. It's like cater mass. Uh, we're never going to get it right. So, uh, uh, where's that extra R at? I'm putting it in there. Quarter, quarter yeah. minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and also on frenzy, Rio Sensei. I love these names. Hmm. Great discussion. I am with Doc on this one. Ha ha. Ah. But I really appreciate some of the great sequences here and there. Yes. And then finally. You want me to do this one? Sure. Dracula AD, sure. 1972, episode 152. Andy Morton is back. You guys nailed it. Total trash. But it has its, <laughs> it has its good points, if you see what I mean. Uh, I work in a well-known <laughs> department store. <laughs> Never mind. I see what he means. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I know see what, what you mean. About. Yeah, we get you. Say no yeah, more. Wink. Uh, worked in a well-known department store on Kings Road, Christopher Lee's neighborhood. Wow. A colleague of mine came back from his lunch break one day and said, without a missing a beat, I just saw Christopher Lee, which is weird. He doesn't usually come out in the daytime. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one ever. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Oh, man, can you imagine that? Just walking down the street and seeing Christopher Lee walking through the neighborhood? Oh, God, I'd do a double yeah, right. take that would snap my neck. Well, they I mean, you used to see what uh, Peter Cushion riding his bike, right? Didn't they make a song about that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. 
There you go. All right. So that's our, <laughs> we're running out of time. So that's our review for uh, the uh, Blood for Dracula. Um, what, pray tell, is next for our uh, Decades of Horror 1970s? Uh, I got to pick a movie, right? You did. I got to pick a movie, and I picked uh, one of the few, maybe the only, well, no, there's another one, but I don't think we'll ever do it. Uh, one of the few movies from my favorite science fiction writer, actually probably my favorite writer of all time, Harlan Ellison, A Boy and His Dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually cannot wait to watch this one. I've known about it for years, but never watched it, so I'm kind of excited it's about it. It's very low have... budget, but yeah, uh, right. Yeah, I, I think it's got a lot it of good in it. I have reason... seen it. And, oh, have you? Yeah. I, yeah. But anyway, I won't yeah. The only it. the only reason I know about it is because Don Johnson's in it. And yeah, that's right. that made same here. Yeah. Well, and Jason Robart, and it's a it's like and Benji, one of his probably most famous stories. And Benji, think, it's Benji. It's actually Benji. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I, th I thought dog. you knew. You said you knew. I thought you. Knew. I, he blood. looks like it's Benji. It's, it's not Lassie. So, <laughs> blood's, blood's a rover. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where are you going with this? All right, guys. Thank you all so much. Bill, Jeff, Chad, of course, for joining me. This is this is so much fun as we continue. Oh, God, how many years have we been doing this? It feels it feels like very little and then a whole a long time. Of the same time. I know. Right. <laughs> it was uh even though I didn't like the movie that much, it was still a fun discussion. So, oh yeah, yeah. It's always fun to talk about. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say broadcasting from Eli's impenetrable bunker in the mountains in Southern yes. California. Yeah. Wow. I see, I see the skateboard behind you. I was wondering That's his, how, his how, Art how, Bell, how, Art how, Bell how, impersonation. Yeah. I was wondering yeah. how far <laughs> you traveled on that skateboard behind you. So. Uh, I, I, mm. Yeah, I got caught in traffic and had to just leave the car behind. and you just left it there. <laughs> He left, take, took off a gleam, gleam in the cube. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's going through the traffic. Da, 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 da. He's, He's got in. he's got better equipment than me. I, I might have to uh, steal his microphone and uh, mixer. Mm. <laughs> we go home. <laughs> oh, there's a granddad for you. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's say good night. He's too young to have that stuff. He is too young. How dare he? Good night, everybody. Good, good night, night, folks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.